الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام mentioned an authentic hadith المسلم أخو مسلم يشده بعضه بابا The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said A Muslim is the brother of a Muslim and they strengthen one another or they fortify one another you should do ba'dhu ba'dha and in another narration the Prophet Sallallahu took his fingers and intertwined them that hadith as well as many other ahadith and ayat in the Quran indicates emphasizes the importance of the Islamic Brotherhood and that our brotherhood is not based on the fact that someone is Pakistani someone is African American someone is Caucasian someone is from Egypt Bangladesh Somalia whatever the case may be but rather that tie that Allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke about is based on the characteristics of iman that the mu'minin are brothers innam al-mu'minun ikhwa verily the believers are brothers we have many obstacles towards this, uh, in front of this brotherhood, as barriers to this brotherhood. We have, unfortunately, racism, tribalism, nationalism, and just plain skepticism and hatred. Some people and you'll find this, I found this in my travels, in traveling in especially the Arab world, that hierarchy often based on color, that they believe white is right and black is in the back or what have you. That there is a type of, almost for some people, a type of ubudiyah. Yani there's a type of worship almost, of everything white and we find this goes against the nasus of the Quran and the Sunnah and in fact we find no khair in this and if we were to base our love and our prejudice upon taqwa upon Iman, then we would find a whole different set of characteristics that unites our hearts, that you would be inclined to love your brother or your sister who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is practicing and striving to come closer to Allah azza wa jal. You would love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That doesn't mean you would necessarily marry them, you may have your preferences. There's nothing wrong with preferences. But what we see is the stereotyping and plain and simple dislike and hatred. And it is to the level of hatred. But the Nasus tell us otherwise. Innam al Mu'minun Ikhwa. Verily, the believers are brothers. And hold on, all of you, steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. This is again addressing Ahl Iman, Ahl Sunnah, 
who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab or the methodology of the Salaf al -Salih. This is referring to them because they are the Jama'ah ah. and their love for one another, the strength of it is from loving a person of Iman. A person whom they can what? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa ta'awana la biru wa taqwa. Wa la ta'awana la ithmi wa udwan. Their love and allegiance is to the one whom they can cooperate in piety and righteousness with. Not in sinfulness and enmity. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, wa ta'awana la biru wa taqwa. Cooperate in righteousness and piety. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity. So when we have racism between our brothers and sisters, or the tribalism, or the other illnesses that we have, because we're all infected probably some way or another, especially if you really, and this, it doesn't matter what society you come from, and I know being from America, for sure, everyone is tainted by racism in some way because race is such a powerful institution and racism is such a powerful institution in America. Systemically, in the past and up until now. So, that ta'awan ala biru wa taqwa, when you cooperate in righteousness and piety, that means you're cooperating in that which is good. That which strengthens the mu'min. But when you cooperate in ithm, or adwan, sinfulness, and enmity, hatred, isn't that what the asal of racism is? That when you detest someone for their race, for their color, for their nationality, that you are cooperating with the people of sinfulness and the people of enmity in practicing enmity. Because you didn't take the standards of the Quran and the Sunnah, which told you that there was no difference between black and white, and Arab and Ghayda Arab, or non-Arab. But instead you chose, because you felt you had a higher calling, a higher brotherhood, a higher status, but you're going to go in the grave and your body's going to turn to dust and you go and use the restroom just like everyone else. And you will not repel sickness just like everyone else. And you bleed just like everyone else. So it's important for us as believers to cooperate in righteousness, cooperate in righteous product, uh, uh, righteous uh, 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 activities such as giving charity, such as giving da'wah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such as building masajid, places to worship, such as calling people to Islam, such as learning and studying and teaching tawheed, teaching uh, sincerity, teaching how to stay away from sinfulness, being a refuge for one another. This is what Islam shows us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad al-sunnah and the brotherhood which is required to make us a great nation, showing an example for the rest of humanity. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.